One, two, three, four. And welcome to Funk, Furman University's daily news show. Today is Friday, February 8th, 2019. I'm Anna. And I'm Brooke. The weather today will be mostly cloudy, with a high of 65 and a low of 36. <laughs> Want to prove that you own the courts? Then grab two of your closest roommates and enter into the FCA annual basketball tournament. The tournament will take place on February 12th in the Alley Gym from 7.30 to 10. Admission into the tournament is free, and $100 is at stake for the best male and female teams. To submit your team or for more information, contact Marissa Gumbarda. If you have a club in mind that you'd like to start here at Furman, time is running out. The deadline for, for new club and organization applications are today. Furman Focus is teaming up with the American Red Cross to host a blood drive on the 18th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Watkins. To sign up your organization for the drive, visit redcrossblood.org and use the sponsor code FOCUS. Also, the organization or group with the highest attendance at the drive will earn a free pizza party. If you create fiction, creative nonfiction, poetry, studio art, or ph photography, submit your own work to the ECHO for consideration. Submissions are open from now until February 17th. Furman University International Student Association, or FRISA, is having their annual International Dance Festival, CLP, on February 18th in McAllister Auditorium from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. And now it's time for our Furman's Furman Sports Recap. Last night, our men's basketball team won 64-45 to against the Western Carolina Catamounts, while our women's basketball team won 53 to to 28 against the same Western Carolina Catamounts. Go Dens! Women's lacrosse takes on High Point this Saturday at 1 p.m. in the Paladin Stadium. Both the men's and women's tennis teams have doubleheader action headings into this weekend. On Saturday, the men's teams faces off against USC Upstate and North Greenfield. Then it is the ladies' turn on Saturday as they take on Liberty U and South Carolina State. Both events begin at 11 a.m. in the Michael Tennis Center. And now for a brand new funk segment, This Week in the News. This week in the news, since its initial debut in 2009, Angry Birds is now making a comeback in VR gaming by putting the slingshot in users' hands. Healthy officials have already some really weird cases of the measles in 2019 in young children due to low vaccine rates as of late. FDA has recently released a report that linked certain breast implants with cancer. They have issued warnings to doctors and patients alike. In local news, a South Carolinian fifth grade teacher found trunks full of World War II artifacts when renovating her home. They were left from her father-in-law, who was in the Philippines at this time. As proven from found lab, letters, and memo for Bilia. That's all we have for you today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.cantstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a wild national Boy Scouts Day, and tune in again on Monday for our next episode. Peace out. Thank you.